Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of how to install iMeta Symphony 7. Once the installer file has been completely downloaded, right click on the file and select Run as Administrator. A pop up message will appear asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC, and select Yes. Now the setup wizard will open with the license agreement. Please read the agreement and click the box agreeing to it before clicking Next. Setup options will appear with a default installation path, but this can easily be customized. We also recommend checking the box approving the installation of the iMetis Remote Support Tool. Now click Next. This next step will allow you to install the database if you don't have it installed already. If you pick a database to install, you must use a password, so please remember that password if you do. Now click Install. The installation process may take a couple of minutes to complete, but we will speed up this demonstration. Once the installation is finished, the setup wizard will say installation successfully completed, and we can continue by clicking launch to move on to the configuration setup. Once the configuration process begins, I must stop the database configuration as I already have a configuration I wish to use. The first step is to say where the database is located, and in this example, it is on my local machine. You can give it a database name, and for the SQL Server authentication, you must enter a username and password that you previously assigned or was given by your system administrator. Click on Verify, and if all of the settings are correct, a green check mark will appear. The next step is to say whether you are doing an online or offline registration. For online registration, we must type in the farm name, XNet username, and password, and we must say whether this is a trial farm or licensed farm. If this is a licensed farm, this means we must allocate licenses from our XNet account. You can see in our example we have 20 Symphony Enterprise licenses and five of each iMetis Analytics that can be allocated. Once all our license information is complete, we can click on Verify to finish. The second way to register licenses is through offline registration, which entails downloading the registration key, going to the iMetis XNet, adding the farm there, registering it, and adding licenses. We can then download the licensing file and upload it here under the License File section. In our example, we are registering online, and as you can see, after clicking Verify, we are given another green check mark indicating our license registration was successful. The next step is to identify which authentication mode you want to use, either the Symphony Security mode or the Active Directory integration. If we wish to use Active Directory integration, we must input the username and password of the domain. Our server must be in a domain. We can then switch to Active Directory and click Auto Discover. In our example here, we will use Symphony Security and type in a Symphony Administrator username and password and click Verify to complete the addition of that user. The next step is to set up the server configuration, establishing where we wish to save our data, and to do that, start by clicking on the Server Configuration tab at the top. It's important that we select where we want to store our data. We can pick any folder, but it's recommended that the data is not saved on the C drive. We then click on Verify to finish setting up the server configuration, and as you can see, we now have two check marks on both tabs at the top. Now we can click on Apply to continue the setup. You can see the different configurations that are being completed, and the detailed logs of the processes can be viewed in order to see everything that is happening. Once the cleanup is completed, we are finished with installing iMeta Symphony 7.